Hi, my name's Alex, and I'm going to help you make your very own Selassie polyhedron. Now, you've already printed your template out, so get a nice sharp pair of scissors. You might need to get your parents to help you with this and cut out that template for me. It is a bit of a complicated shape, though, so make sure you take your time and cut right on the lines. So once we've cut out our template, we should have two pieces that look a little bit like this. Now, you can see I've already started to fold this one, so I'm going to put that one down, and I'm going to show you this one. Now you notice that there are some dotted lines here. On those dotted lines, I need you to make what's called a mountain fold. What that means is we turn it away from ourselves, and then we fold along the line very carefully so that we have a little mountain. Now if we go back to that first piece I showed you, this one is a little bit different. We have some mountain folds, like this one. We also have some what are called valley folds, like this one. So every time you find a dash dot line, I want you to do the mountain fold, remember it looks like a mountain, and every time we just have a dash line, I want you to do a valley fold, so remember it looks like a valley. So I'm going to go ahead and fold my template. So we're currently folding over the A tab to meet the A side and then just taping that in place. So once we've got that, this is the middle part of our Selassie polyhedron. And now we're going to attach this part to this part. And this bit's a little bit tricky, so what we need to do, we're going to fold this out and we're going to find the two sides labelled E and G. We will also have a G, I don't know if you can see that in there, and we have an A, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky, we've got a G and an E just there. So we need to meet, bring these two to meet over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find that P side, and I'm just going to meet those two bits just here. the G side, and again, just meet that bit right there, get that nice and flush, and then tape that into place. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find this F side and the F tab. And this one we need to fold upwards slightly, tuck it in and around, making sure we get all those tabs in the right spot, and then we're going to tape that F side on. Just like this. A little bit of tape on the outside, wrap it around, tape it in place. This is a long edge we have here, so I'm going to use two pieces of tape. So this is the second piece of tape. And I'm just going to tape that one in place. There we are. Now you notice we still have a loose side over here, so we might just use another piece of tape there and then one more just to make everything make sure everything stays in this nice proper place again we'll just put one more piece of tape here just to make sure we can hold that bit down nicely and we're ready to move on to our next step over this side we'll find a little tab I'm just going to tuck that one in like that and you'll find the two D's now those are right next to each other so we might as well tape them in uh, right now. So there are two D sides taped together, and again we'll find the B is right next to each itself. So we'll tape those in place in just a second. Before we do, we're just going to flip over and make sure that everything on this side is nice and in place. So we'll tuck the 
C in to where the C tab is. And we'll just make sure that one's going to go in place in a moment. Just make sure this one's nice and folded there. There we go. So we're all ready here to finish that off. So B, take B in place. And again, I might just put two pieces of tape on there just to keep it nice and secure. over to this side where our C edge is. Again, we're going to tape that in place. Again, just make sure that our edges are meeting nice and flush. We get a nice, neat result from this. And we only have one more to tape down there. Again, it's a long edge, so we'll use a few pieces of tape, I think. just here to keep these edges nice and regular. So there we go, that is our Selassie polyhedron. Now I've used tape and paper for my Selassie polyhedron. You might find it easy to use some cardboard and glue. Now if you're using cardboard, you may need to use a knife to actually score along those folded uh, points, the dotted lines. But again, just be very careful, get a grown up to help you. Uh, and with the glue, just make sure you leave enough time for some of these tabs to dry in between steps, just so we end up with a nice regular shape. But there it is, our Selassie polyhedron.